moving along a little bit quicker. Now, the first thing I told you guys from last class period is no matter what type of problem you're doing or for anything else, for the rest of this chapter, whenever you have a polynomial, make sure that it's in standard form, meaning that your powers are in descending order. You guys can see we have powers here. We have x to the 1, x to the 0. These are not in descending order. It goes from 4, 1, 7, and 0. We want to make sure they're in descending order. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite them so the powers are in descending order. Does everybody see now how it's in, descend how it's in standard form? Yes? OK, so then all we're simply going to do is look at what our degree is and we look at our leading coefficient. So our degree, remember, is the largest power, which in this case is 7. And our leading coefficient is the coefficient of the term that has the degree, which in this case is 3. Now that we've identified the leading coefficient and the degree, all we simply need to do is determine for the degree, is it even or is it odd? Is the leading coefficient positive or negative? And you don't need to write this down, but I mean, I'm writing in there just to kind of make it. I mean, there's only your two choices. It doesn't really matter what the number is, right? So 7, is that even or odd? Odd. So I'll circle it. Is 3 positive or negative? Positive. OK, so now we need to go back to our chart, if you guys remember, and look at that. If you remember, if you guys can visualize what I had written down, the two end behaviors that were odd were over here. And then if it was positive, it was in that upper right-hand corner. What was the end behavior for a odd polynomial with a positive end behavior, yes? So then I'll, that's all you'd say. That's all you need to say. Falls left, rises right. And that's all you guys need to write, or at least all that will be expected for you at this time. Does that make sense?